In the wild North Atlantic, the Vikings thrived where most would falter. Their wooden halls and longships survived centuries of rain and rot, not by chance, but through a deep understanding of nature. Without modern sealants or chemicals, they used simple tools and local materials, learning from the forests and the seasons. They saw nature not as an enemy, but as a partner, redirecting its forces rather than resisting them. This video uncovers the secrets behind their enduring structures, from pine tar to ingenious joinery, and explores what we can learn from their sustainable, resilient approach. The Viking's wisdom offers powerful lessons for building in harmony with the natural world, lessons more relevant now than ever. Today we try to keep water out with plastic barriers and perfect seals, but even the smallest floor traps moisture inside, leading to hidden rot and decay. Modern buildings often fail because they fight nature, assuming perfection is possible. The Vikings took a different path. They accepted moisture as inevitable and designed their buildings to breathe. Their structures could get wet, then dry out quickly, preventing rot. Every part of a Viking building, from foundation to roof, was built to let air circulate and moisture escape. This dynamic, forgiving system worked with the environment, not against it. The result? Buildings that lasted centuries, outsmarting nature rather than trying to conquer it. Their approach stands in stark contrast to our obsession with sealing everything tight. Pine tar was the Viking's secret weapon against the relentless damp. Made by slowly heating pine wood, this thick aromatic tar soaked deep into timber, creating a water-repellent antiseptic shield. Heated and brushed on in layers, pine tar filled every crack, saturating the wood from within. The result, rain beaded and ran off, while fungi and bacteria were kept at bay. This labour-intensive ritual was essential for preserving ships and homes. The scent of pine tar was the smell of survival, a constant reminder of the barrier between Viking life and the northern rains. Their mastery of this natural preservative was key to their legendary durability. The Vikings' joinery was as clever as their chemistry. Overlapping planks, Clinker construction shed water-like shingles, directing rain away from vulnerable joints. These joints weren't rigidly sealed. Instead, they flex with the weather. When wood swelled in the rain, the planks pressed tighter, sealing out water even more. In dry spells, the wood shrank, letting air circulate and dry out any moisture. This breathing system meant the structure adapted to the climate, always protecting itself. The Vikings turned wood's natural properties into an asset, creating buildings that responded to their environment. Their joinery was a living defence, not a static barrier. Fire was another Viking ally. By lightly charring wood, they created a carbon layer that resisted rot, insects, and even fire itself. This charred surface, when combined with pine tar, formed a tough, water-repellent and antiseptic barrier. The process sterilized the wood, closed its pores, and made it less appealing to decay. Tar soaked into the charred layer, creating a composite shield perfectly suited to the northern climate. The blackened, textured finish wasn't just for looks. It was a mark of resilience and longevity. Fire and tar together made Viking timber nearly indestructible. Viking roofs were marvels of natural engineering. A timber frame was covered with overlapping birch bark, naturally waterproof yet 
breathable. On top, thick layers of turf held the bark in place, insulated the home, and absorbed rainwater like a sponge. The turf slowed water's journey, easing the load on the bark and releasing moisture slowly through evaporation. This living roof managed rain like a meadow, keeping the longhouse dry and comfortable year-round. The design was perfectly integrated with the landscape, turning the roof into a self-sustaining ecosystem. It was both beautiful and functional, a green canopy that protected and insulated. Viking roofs were a testament to working with, not against, the elements. Viking buildings endured because they were cared for. Maintenance was a way of life. Small repairs, seasonal tar applications, and constant observation kept structures strong for generations. This proactive approach is a powerful lesson for today's builders and survivalists. By embracing breathability, natural materials, and regular upkeep, we can create healthier, longer-lasting buildings. The Vikings' methods empower us to be more self-reliant and sustainable, using what our environment provides. Their legacy is more than history. It's a blueprint for resilience and harmony with nature. By rediscovering their wisdom, we can build a better, more sustainable future.